Y'all, the countdown is on. Halloween is on Sunday. And if you're still like me looking for that last minute costume, listen up. Fox 7 Austin's Tara Newbaum is in West Austin with some ideas. I'm here with Laureline. She's the founder of Halloween by Design. And we have people covered. You have some fabulous ideas for last minute Halloween costumes. We have me dressed up as a vampire here today. Sure. And you can really use a cake like this in a few different ways. Exactly. I mean, you can turn it into a little red riding hood. You could put on boxing gloves, whatever it is that you feel like you want to have some fun with on Halloween. And if people are looking for those last minute ideas with something they already have at home, you have a few ideas that I might do. help. This is a real favorite of mine. These are just smarty candies applied to a pair of pants. So you would be smarty pants. Love it. And I know if you've got a dress like I do that I've worn once, I'm not going to wear it again, but you put this on the sash on and it's a formal apology. I absolutely love that. We all have those outfits at home that are maybe just sitting there and Gertie, you have a few tips on how to elevate these looks with some makeup. Yeah. So taking a light concealer and applying it all over your face is going to give you that ghostly pale look. Okay. Love it. Um, and then popping on a little false lash. Can't go wrong. And then finishing with a bold lip. Always a good trick there. And then if people just have some eyeliner at home, what can they do with that? Yeah, eyeliner, you can do anything. The beautiful thing about Halloween makeup is that you can get really messy with it. You don't have to be a makeup artist. Um, you can have fun, um, draw lines, play with it. Uh, you can mix your, uh, if you have black eyeshadow, you can mix it with a little water to even make your own liquid liner. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So great ways to elevate. These are quick, easy ways for people to recycle, upcycle, use what they already have. And exactly. uh, Lurleen, we're also talking about Halloween by design. There's a challenge going on and anyone that's decorated for Halloween can be part. How so? Very easy. Just take a picture. You can upload the photo on our website. You'll be eligible for some amazing prizes. Most votes win. So if you have a photo, get your friends to vote as well. All of that money that's raised goes to the local nonprofits. Which nonprofits are benefiting from Halloween by design this year? Uh, the Shade Project and to cure a rose. Both of these are local right here in Austin and trying to do some really good in our local community. Yeah, it's a great way to celebrate Halloween, but also give back. What exactly are those uh, two nonprofits about? So the Shade Project is all about skin cancer prevention and education and outreach. We also build shade structures at schools and parks. And then to cure a rose foundation is was founded by Casey McPherson. His daughter has a, a rare genetic disease and he is helping to promote the science to help find a cure amazing organizations and you guys also have a live stream concert on Saturday where do people get more information you can go to the website there'll be information about how to join us that night on via online for the live stream we're gonna have some really cool decor that you're only gonna be able to see if you tune in and obviously great music and some, some more information about our nonprofits great ideas great cause here halloweenbydesign.com to be part of the challenge reporting in West Austin Tierra Newbaum Fox 7 Austin News